Well, it's a familiar setting here. We're back at Moody Racing Stables and we're talking to Peter Moody about that champion mare, Black Caviar. She's lining up at the Valley on Friday night. It's the Pulse Pharmacy William Reed Stakes and she's shooting for 11 out of 11. Has she come through that last up win in the new market? Yeah, she's done super. Uh, hasn't done a lot since the new market. Uh, had a little reverse gallop on Saturday morning or even just pace work. Tuesday morning she had a bit of a slip up here on the course proper and uh, very pleasing. She's been to the track two or three times now. Uh, she's undefeated everywhere so it's easy to say she's undefeated there. Uh, she's held a condition well, she's just tightened down that little bit more from the new market condition wise and you know really no excuses again. And whilst the picket fence continues to grow, Peter Moody suggested that the pressure is not as great this time around as it was going into the new market. Yeah, well, I think the new market's taken some of the pressure off, the, the handicap, the 10th record equaling win. Uh, so it might be a bit cheeky to say, but it's probably icing on the cake from here on in. So can he see the beaten brigade turning the tables? You would think unless some curveball comes along, horses are meeting her six or seven kilos, the worst side of the weights for their last defeat, and beating, getting beat some four, five, six and ten lengths would struggle to turn it around. And in an interesting move, Peter's accepted with four runners in the William Reed on Saturday, of course headlined by Black Caviar. For sort of different reasons, uh, Hinchinbrook and Master Harry are en route to the Galaxy in Sydney and they need one more run, so rather than travel them twice before that run, uh, I thought it was the best opportunity for them to run here, even though taking on her. Panna Peaks a dual acceptor also in the mare's weight for age race in Adelaide and she's a filly that struggles from bad gates as we saw in the Oakley Plate so if she happened to draw bad in the Sangster I'll run her here, if she draws nice in the Sangster she'll go to Adelaide. Now if one of those runners can win the William Reed on Friday night, Peter Moody's going to walk away with a Mercedes Benz, a $134,000 vehicle. He got a good look at it today and he said there's plenty of competition in the family as to who's going to get their hands on it. Uh, no, it was a nice fit. Very nice. It would uh, sit well in my garage, but I think it would look a little out of place, but uh, it could grow on me. <laughs> you were saying that you might have to uh, pass it on to you, one of your daughters, though? Uh, there has been some banter at home uh, suggesting where the car might uh, go or who it might belong to, but uh, oh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Let's uh, Hopefully we can uh, earn it on uh, Friday night, and the only way we're going to earn it is by winning the William Reed. Well, there it is, the countdown towards the final Group 1 of the Victorian racing season. It all happens Friday night at Mooney Valley, and the headline act undoubtedly will be the world champion, Mayor Black Caviar. We look forward to seeing you trackside.